Okay, that's DeCroyson from, uh, or, well, sort of from Milwaukee. We'll get to that in a moment. Tonight sh on tonight's show, we're going to uh, be interviewing a whole bunch of bands, so we're going to sort of run this like we do the uh, magazine, which is sort of like a whole bunch of oral scene reports here, a little oral history. And um, so DeCroyson starts it off. Um, these guys are very unassuming, considering they're one of the, the totally most amazing bands I've seen. <laughs> and then, uh, they're all going to blush now and everything. That's right. Um, but anyway, they're, uh, if when they come to your area, and they will be coming to your area because they're traveling everywhere, um, definitely see them. Okay, tell us about Milwaukee. <laughs> Here's a town. <laughs> Not all at once. Okay. There's a lot of it's beer there. <laughs> it's a real small town. It's not like like L.A. at all, which is totally huge. <laughs> it's yeah. pr pretty um, pretty industrial. There's a lot of like factories and just general industry. Uh huh. It's been called the machine shop of the world. <laughs> Working class town. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, real like blue collar a lot. So it must be kind of down and out these days. Yeah, not as it's like not as bad as some places, evidently, but it's uh -huh. still yeah, kind of depressed. People still drink beer, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 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 Um, I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell why don't you tell a little bit about the history of uh, the the scene there? Like how long has, has have things been happening? Well, it started about two years ago. Because mm -hmm. like there was. Uh, Let's see, who, who were the bands playing around then? There was like a lot of bands. There was one club to start to start with, yeah. the Starship. Uh -huh. And all s it was like all sorts of bands played there. A lot. One mm -hmm. thing about Milwaukee yeah. is there's a lot of diverse, mm -hmm. a lot of diverse bands. A lot of like, not really experimental, but a lot of really different types of bands. And that's where everybody played, was the Starship. And it was, yeah. you know... The drinking age is 18, so it wasn't really too difficult for people to get in. Uh huh. But there weren't a lot of kids back then. Mm -hmm. That was the whole point. It was mainly like just 18 and over crowd. There weren't like a lot of kids. Right. What can you remember? Any of the bands that were around then? Oh yeah, the oh, yeah, 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 bands, real you know, the tense tense experts. experts. Yeah. Who are still semi together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess Amadots threw in the towel finally. Yeah. Uh, the oil tasters. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. They're supposedly being put on tour by their label. They're, they're, they're on Thermidor. They're, 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 yeah, they're on right. Thermidor out of here. Right. They play some good music that's like funk and uh, mm. little blues oriented and jazz yes. saxophone and drums. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good combo. So then when did the uh, the younger crowd happen? Just recently, about like in the last six months, there's been a lot of like younger kids coming into the scene. Yeah, I think that was basically due to the fact that we played at... Uh, that benefit skateboard for the park. skate park. Yeah, yeah. And that really got the kids going. And we also played at a high school. And they weren't really subjected to it. And like once they heard that it had a lot of energy and it was, you know, it was fun to dance to and stuff like that, they started coming to the shows. Uh -huh. If they could get in. Yeah, right. plus a lot of them couldn't get in, you know, couldn't get into the Starship. So when that closed, it opened up, you know, it gave people kind of a kick in the rear to start other things and rent halls and stuff and that's yeah, when we had to start yeah. going out and putting on our own shows yeah. and you know plus it we bring in other bands ourselves mm -hmm. it yeah. weeded out a lot of the less serious bands too that really didn't care about yeah. the scene it yeah. was kind of died off although a lot of them are now playing at the places that we found <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know it's but that's average though you know uh-huh typical Okay, so then, well, then er everything sounds hunky dory. Then how come you guys are here? Well, well it was the scene there is real small. Mm -hmm. You know, like hundred, maybe one hundred and twenty-five people if you're lucky mm -hmm. for a local show for uh, uh, bands that are all local. For, mm -hmm. You know, so like we were playing out twice, maybe three times mm -hmm. a month. You know, and we were kind of boring people. I don't know. We kind of reached our peak. We really couldn't do we them. Didn't want to burn out. Yeah, yeah, we yeah it was. Out in Milwaukee, you know, just we've been together for two years. It's time for us to try something more. Yeah, yeah. Plus, the fact we knew we had to go sometime, so we just said, "Well, you know, why not now?" Right. Because the record had just come out and it was getting reviews, and we figured it, we'd have a better shot right now than any other mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So don't. We don't want to get miscon, you know, misconstrued as turning our back on the Midwest or saying, you know. 
no, you know all. all that's <laughs> bad because it's things, not it's a, there's a lot of good things about it yeah well mm -hmm. the first one we left uh we had thought about you know it'd be great live out on the west coast it's sunny all the time and uh <clears throat> but then once we thought about it and on the way out here it, it just didn't seem like a real feasible idea because there's so many bands the rent is so expensive oh, it, it'd so be a lot better expensive. just to like find a small town that really doesn't <laughs> have a scene and try and build it up yeah. which is basically what we did in milwaukee and like yeah, we just felt it reached its peak there and we decided to move on uh-huh so you're you're a band in search of a small town <laughs> well <laughs> a small Not scene that you know needs a little help uh -huh. or just anything really we haven't you know we've only seen half the country yeah. we've still got the other half to go right <laughs> so we're you know, we we're may not end up settling back in down. Milwaukee anyways. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> it's just like we're kind of as far rambling as guys, <laughs> 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 gypsies. <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, anyway, so when these guys come through your town out there, um, you know, they're gonna need gas money to come and see us, <laughs> right? Yeah, right, please. and give them a home. They need a home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What else did I want to? ask you about oh yes you say you've only been together two years yeah I mean because uh, the band is amazingly tight um, w th used to be called the Stellas yeah. yeah was that does that count in the two years no part of Somewhat. it part Pretty of it much. like three or four months mm -hmm. of it it was uh -huh. only together a couple months before it doesn't uh -huh. count it yeah, doesn't yeah, count. It doesn't okay. Really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I mean, for two years, uh, you guys have really a lot of practice. Yeah, yes. we pra We used to, when we had some place to practice. We used to we practice, practice a lot, uh -huh. which months. is the old adage: practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Which is that's certainly <laughs> 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 um, Also, one one quick question: uh, has, has the uh, the lyrics of your songs are they at all influenced by? your Milwaukee experience or are they just totally abstract or a little cuz Milwaukee's kind of a dark dingy little town you know so you have dark Some dingy lyrics little lyrics, lyrics. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> well no y you know it's <coughs> i don't know Milwaukee for me kind of paints a uh, i don't know the sky is gray there and there's a lot of factories and that sounds like New Jersey probably yeah probably yeah, probably yeah. Like a yeah, there's no, there's no, I don't know. There's uh -huh. no spectacular no skyline. No trees. No trees. There's uh -huh. a lake. So, <laughs> well, uh, how would you, s uh, how would you characterize your, your, your lyrics? Uh, I mean, um, I don't know. They're just things that happen to me or, or us, and just, you know, they're kind of like my problems sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just express myself. Mm-hmm. They're not, you know, about a whole, it's not about the government, or it's not about, I don't know how bad situations are in right, it's America. just personal It's just more personal, yeah. Right. Personal politics. Yeah. Sounds like a, another Milwaukee band I know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mentioning any names, of course. Anyway, okay, listen, we should wrap this up, and we're going to play something else off the EP. Yeah. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Or no. Okay. Um, I would just like to, s to have to say that think for yourself. You know, use your mind. Don't let anybody else think for you. That's be an individual and yeah. get involved as much as possible and try and help out the scene. Try just and help. don't ignore it or just sit up stairs on the lounge couch and miss half the band. <laughs> Okay, well this next song uh, perhaps relates to that. Uh, this is uh, off the EP, this is Think For Me.